What's up everyone? Welcome back and thank you for stopping in. Today I have an exciting overview to do for you guys concerning the Artisan Cutlery Ahab. Before we jump into that, if you like knife content, EDC content, survival and preparedness type content, you are in the right spot. I do gear reviews, all kinds of different content videos related to anything edc or preparedness we do live streams on saturday 11 a.m eastern and monday 5 p.m eastern every week uh everyone is welcome there if you want to come and just watch come and just listen uh come and chat with everyone you are welcome there we have memberships rolling now in full speed so that is also available if you are interested in something like that and helping support the channel. There will be a link down below for the memberships. Uh, there are three tiers. Before you head out, give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. It really helps the video. It helps the channel. I appreciate it and I love interacting with you guys down in the comments. So it really just helps me out all the way around. So if you could, if you're watching, take the time, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Anything that you would like is welcome. We will get started with the Artisan Cutlery Ahab overview. Let's wipe off the blade with our issuing stitches, Hank. If you like what you see, I do have a link to Issuing Stitches Etsy store. And not only that, but he has given me and my viewers a 10% off code when you check out. He does all kinds of different prints. He has a couple different sizes of Hanks. He has valet trays. And he's got some other things coming up the pipe, so stay tuned for that. But he has some of the best prints, best stitching, best pricing, period. Uh, and then you add in the 10% off code, which is GBALL10, all caps, will get you 10% off. That'll all be linked down below in the description. Great dude over there, great person to support. So we'll go ahead and get into this guy. This is the Artisan Cutlery Ahab. This is more of a budget offering from Artisan. We'll start with the blade and work our way back. You do have a satin ARRPM9, proprietary steel to Artisan and CJRB. Uh, this is a harpoon blade shape. Uh, if you take this away, it really reminds me of a modified Warncliffe. Uh, but because of this hump here, it is a harpoon. And I will tell you guys, it is just so comfortable. I have absolutely fallen in love with this knife over the last week or two. Uh, absolutely fallen in love with it. I've taken it to work a bunch. Had to get certain glues like heavy construction adhesive glues get in behind it and kind of scrape it off and i was using this and it just it did very very well been cutting certain plastics certain cardboards uh we will be doing a disassembly of this guy i will tell you now the blade is not centered uh, I do not know if it was centered. I don't think I checked that on the initial unboxing and first impressions. I don't think it, I think it was centered. I think it's worked its way, the pivots worked its way loose a touch. Uh, and I can feel it if I really crank on it out here at the end of the blade. But uh, there's no up and down. There's a touch of side to side. And I think with uh, tightening that up, it'll move the blade right over to center or very close to center. You do have these dull thumb studs that kind of remind you of the old school glass doorknobs. Uh, one of my viewers called that out. One of my subscribers called that out. And that was a good call. Uh, they are unique thumb studs. They are very different. But one thing I like about them is they're easy to use they're comfortable 
They don't bother your thumb or your pointer finger when it comes to actuating it. So the thumb studs are unique and they are comfortable. Uh, usually those two don't go together so well uh, when people stray away from the normal stepped design of a thumb stud that you can it can be a huge hit or it can be a huge miss and I think they did well there. This is a standard liner lock. You have probably eh, like 35 to 40 percent lockup. Very good. Gives some leeway for that to kind of break in. Very simple construction. The pivot is hidden underneath the scale. Two screws and you are there. Uh, you do have a deep carry titanium pocket clip, backspacer, and integrated lanyard loop there, which is hidden. It keeps the aesthetic appeal of this knife very clean. Very gentlemanly, in fact, actually. And one thing else I appreciate about this is the pocket clip is not an afterthought of the knife. The, you know, it looks like they put some thought into the pocket clip the design, where it's located. We will go ahead and get a weight on this guy. Maybe, there we go. 3.4 on the weight. So it's not heavy at all. Why don't we go ahead and get a measurement quick. So cutting edge, you're at three and a half. And to that very tip there, you're looking at uh, like three and five, eight. Well, actually it's coming at like three and a half. So, and down here you're at like three and three quarter. For total length, you're right around eight inches. So we'll go ahead and put this up against a few comparison knives. The AM8 Prayer 2 is very close in size. Very similar handle, very similar blade as far as length we're talking about here. Here is the Jaeger M. Uh, the Ahab is a little bigger than the Jaeger. Here is the Hogue Deca Magna Cut Clip Point version 2. The Ahab is a little bit bigger than that guy. And we'll go ahead and do two more just quickly. Here is a new one to the channel. This is the Sencut Kyrel. Uh, I think it's a pretty popular budget knife. The Ahab is a little bit bigger than that. And here is the Civivi Sokoke or Sokoki. Uh, the Ahab is a little bit bigger than that as well. Uh, so if you have one of those, you can get an idea of the size of this guy. This is not a new knife by any means. Uh, they were very hard to get at one point. And once I saw them in stock and they were, you know, easy to get, I went ahead and grabbed one. And man, am I glad I did. This thing has just been an exceptional carry, work knife, user. Uh, and the awesome thing is it's 50, 60 bucks. Uh, so I've just really fallen in love with the Ahab. Uh, I cannot wait to keep testing it out, see how it does. We will be doing a disassembly of this guy. So stay tuned for that. That should be coming here within the next few days. I'm interested to get underneath there and see what is going on. Uh, it should be pretty simple, pretty basic, uh, but all in all, I love the blade shape. The G10 has been finished very well. Everything's nice and rounded off, and at that price point, you're getting a titanium backspacer and deep carry pocket clip. Uh, just an insane value, in my opinion. If you're looking for a more budget-ended EDC knife, uh, that's pretty unique with the hidden pivot and the harpoon blade shape. I think it's a pretty unique EDC knife. And that the awesome thing is 
You don't got to spend a bunch of money to get it. If something happens, you lose it, you break it in half or whatever, you're not out a bunch of money. So that is one of the awesome things about this. And it's so comfortable, uh, easy to climb up on. You got that nice tip. Uh, just an excellent knife. And that is why these have been so popular since these were released. I want mine seeing a more premium version of this. Uh, that would be really cool. Something with like S35 or, you know, something of that nature. And then like some micarta or something else, you know, just a little more premium of an Ahab. I think that would be awesome. Uh, and I think it would be a big hit as well. So that'll wrap uh, the overview up, guys, of the Artisan Cutlery Ahab. Trying to keep things a little shorter if possible. Uh, so we did pretty well there. Like I said, stay tuned for the disassembly. Uh, I'm pretty excited to do that. That will be coming very soon. Otherwise, guys, that will be all. If you're still here and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. Give the video a big old thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I greatly appreciate it when you do. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Have a good night. Have a safe night. Catch you later.